Hello students, <coughs> in this video we will discuss about the basic concepts of the law of motions and the connected body problems. But before starting the crash course day 5 course, I will share something with you. First of all, thanks a lot to all of you to make my channel so much helpful. Most of the students are getting benefit from these channels. In a short interval of time, approximate 2500 stu students gets linked with the link gets linked with my channels it is a good thing students students jaise ki aap sabhi ko pata hai neet ka jo exam hai wo 6 may ko hamara exam hai aur medical students ka kal jo hai wo bio ka paper hai meri apni academy mein jo crash course wo start ho gaya to is wajah se thoda sa busy schedule hone ki wajah se ho sakta hai ki kabhi main वीडियो अपलोड ना कर सकूं लेकिन फिर भी मैं अपनी तरफ से ट्राई करूंगा कि जितना मैं आप लोगों को बेस्ट और रेगुलर क्रैश कोर्स दे सकूं सो so, जैसे कि हमने प्लान किया था हमने डे 4 तक डिस्कस किया था डायमेंशन मोशंस इन ए स्ट्रेट एंड ए प्लेन प्रोजेक्टाइल बॉडी प्रॉब्लम सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द लॉ ऑफ मोशन एंड द कनेक्टेड बॉडी प्रॉब्लम्स स्टूडेंट्स वी मस्ट नो सम द बेसिक कांसेप्ट्स दैट इज द लॉ ऑफ व्हाट आर द लॉज ऑफ मोशंस as we know there are three law first law tells the law of the inertia that is if a body is at rest or in motion it will it will continue to remain in that state unless an external force act on it to change its state it is the definition of inertia therefore from first law we can get the definition of inertia these are the similar things and it this law gives the qualitative definition of force that is we get the quality nature of the force by the first law when we talk about the second law it gives the quantitative quantitative means quantitative quantitative means ki what amount of force is acting on the body from this law we get that force according to this law force acting on a body is mass into acceleration or change in the momentum what is the momentum momentum is the mass into velocity of the particle therefore when we put the p equal to mb then m is a constant therefore m into dv upon dt it is also the one of the form of the uh, second law if force is constant then mass into acceleration is a constant therefore m1 a1 equal to m2 a2 this is also the second law of motion if force acting on the particle is constant if same force act on the particle then we get this result therefore a1 over a2 equal to m2 over m1 if m2 is less than then acceleration in this mass is less than that is if a given force produces a large acceleration in lighter mass then heavier mass that is if the same force acting on the lighter and the heavier mass then for the lighter mass there will be larger acceleration as compared to the heavier mass we can write the also this force in terms of the component therefore fx fy and fz mass is a constant acceleration will be a x a y and a z when we talk about the impulse what is the impulse impulse is the average force that act on the body for very short interval of time therefore average force multiply by the time this is the impulse and according to impulse momentum theorem impulse acting on the body is change in the momentum of the body student one thing you must remember that if we plot a, a graph between force and time then area under this graph will gives the always impulse uh, we can discuss the one problem in this problem force and time graph is given and particles motion is like this from o to a from a to b to c and d and time axis given for at a particle time is 1 second at b it is 2 at c it is 3 and at d it is 4 and the same value for cd force is 4 newton and for ab force is 5 newton and we have to find the impulse during this path what is the impulse when force acting on this particle changes continuously with the time student as we know we can divide this figure whole figure into four components that is for the first figure oa1 it is a triangle therefore we have to find the area of the triangle ab12 it is a, a rectangle therefore we will find the area of the rectangle it is a trapezium trapezium bc23 and again it is a rectangle 
therefore how we find the area of the triangle 1 by 2 base into height what is the base base is 1 and height is what is the height height is 5 therefore 1 by 2 1 into 5 we can find what is the second figure second figure is a rectangle therefore length into breadth what is the third figure it is a trapezium trapezium area 1 by 2 sum of the parallel side and the distance between the parallel sides parallel sides is here 5 and here at C it is 4 therefore 5 plus 4 into 1 distance between the parallel side and again last figure is a rectangle therefore length into breadth student when we add all the areas from figure 1 to figure 4 then the total area will give the impulse of the body that is what is the impulse acting on the body student as we know law of conservation of momentum if no force acting on the particle then momentum of the particle is constant or mass into velocity is constant that is particle moves with the constant velocity if uh, initial momentum is p1 then final momentum is p2 therefore if no external force then both momentum must be equal it is a very important topic students regarding this topic questions may come in the NEET 2018 exam uh, we can discuss the one problem what is the problem a ball moving with momentum 5 kilogram meter per second strikes against a wall at an angle of 45 degree and is reflected back at the same angle then change in the momentum along horizontal and the vertical directions will be what is the change in the momentum what is the problem a ball whose some mass is given but its momentum is 5 kg meter per second it is strikes against a wall and at some angle 45 degree and is reflected against the wall with the same angle 45 degree therefore we can resolve the momentum into two components pi sin 45 degree initial momentum sin 45 degree upward directions and the cos component to the negative x-axis in the same way the downward momentum can be resolved into two components p f sin 45 degree downward and p f cos 45 degree upward here p a and p f both are the same because particle have the same momentum therefore p i sin component for initial and final position before striking and after striking will be same therefore net momentum will be zero along the vertical direction but the cos component is in the same direction therefore total change in the momentum minus 2p cos 45 degree both are along the negative x-axis therefore as we know cos 45 degree is 1 over root 2 therefore when we solve then the this horizontal component will be minus 7.07 student we can discuss the another numerical problem regarding the lamis theorem this is the motion of the motion of the concurrent or the equilibrium forces what is given a ball of mass 1 kg hangs in equilibrium from the two strings OA and OB as in the figure these are the two strings OA and the OB and a ball of mass 1 kg hangs from these these strings and we have to find the tensions in the two strings T1 and T2 OA and OB string and it is given that acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second square student it is given in the problem that angle at a is 30 degree angle at b is 60 degree angle at o is 90 degree and when we have to apply the lamis theorem then as we know we have three forces t1 t2 and the weight of the body that is acting downward therefore what is the tension tension over t1 over angle between ob and weight and t2 over angle between t1 and weight and what is the weight angle between t1 and t2 as we know this angle is 30 degree therefore this angle is again 30 degree and this is the 90 degree 90 plus 30 120 degree in the same way this angle is 150 degree therefore t1 over sine 150 angle between t2 and weight t2 over sine 120 angle between t1 and weight and 10 is the weight w equal to mg 10 over sine 90 means t1 equal to sin 90 multiply by 10 sin 90 is the 1 sin 150 sin 180 minus 30 therefore 10 sin 30 degree and 30 degree is 1 by 2 in the same way t2 equal to 
tan sin 60 degree. How it is 60 degree? Sin 180 minus 120 equals 60 degree. Therefore, this is the tension T1 and this is the tension T2. Student, the problems in the law of motions may come from the connected body problems. What is the, this problem? We have a pulley along which two masses are hanged. One mass is heavier and then other mass is lighter. Therefore, if T is the tension produced in the string, then acceleration in the mass large heavier mass will be downward direction and acceleration in the lighter mass will be along the upward direction. This is the weight that is acting downward. Therefore, what is the downward force? Student, we have to determine this downward force. Downward force, force is the mass into acceleration. Therefore, net downward force will be mass into acceleration. At equilibrium, downward force is mg and along this opposite to this t therefore net downward m a equal to m g minus t that is we have to determine the force that is acting downward positive that is acting upward negative so second jo force hai, second force mein hum kaise likhenge jo downward force hai m g m g along the same direction that is m a equal to t minus m g this is the upward force that is acting on the small mass. Therefore, student, when we solve these two equations, we get acceleration equal to mass minus m and the sum of the masses into g. And tension, 2 mass into mass, m plus m into g. Therefore, with the help of this, we can find the acceleration and we have to find the tension. Students, whatever we need to exam the problems, usme ya jay mein, उसमें उसमें एक्सेलेरेशन या टेंशन ही फाइंड आउट करना होता है कि कितना है इसके रिगार्डिंग जैसे हम एक प्रॉब्लम डिस्कस कर सकते हैं इस प्रॉब्लम में हमें क्या गिवन है वी हैव द टू ब्लॉक्स ए एंड बी ऑफ मासेस एम एंड 3m आर कनेक्टेड बाय द मासलेस इन एक्सटेंसिबल स्ट्रिंग एंड होल सिस्टम इज सस्पेंडेड बाय द मासलेस स्ट्रिंग एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द एक्सेलेरेशन इन द ए एंड द बी immediately after the string is cut off then what are the acceleration when the string is cut off in a and b student this question was in the NEET 2017 exam it is very important questions it is given that we have a spring and these are the two masses which are connected by the uh, student uh, we can solve this problem as before the spring is cut what are the net forces for the mass a its weight is 3 mg and this is the tension in the string and this is the spring force that act on the spring what is the spring force k into x in magnitude therefore extension is produced in the spring what is the extension kx net upward force in the a kx equal to t plus 3 mg and for the mass b it this mass is directly connected with the string not with the spring therefore tension in the string is t and mass is weight is mg therefore t equal to mg student when we put the t equal to mg here we get kx equal to 4 mg this is the equations we when uh, before the spring is cut off and when the spring is cut then tension in the string is zero therefore acceleration in the mass is kx minus 3 mg there is no tension and 3 m kx is 4 mg when we solve we get the acceleration in the a mass is a g by 3 and as we know there is no tension in the setting therefore acceleration will be g because then mass b will fall towards the surface of earth with acceleration g therefore these are the correct options students we can discuss the another important problem regarding this what is the problem? A balloon with mass m is descending down with an acceleration a which is less than the gravity when but mass but mass m dash must be removed from the balloon so that it starts moving up with the acceleration a. Student what is given? Balloon whose mass is given at it is descending down with some acceleration therefore it is asked that but mass m dash must be removed from the balloon so that it go in the upward direction student this is given let this is the balloon it is descending down with some acceleration its weight acting downward and this is the net upward force 
frictional force. Therefore, what is the downward force? Downward force is m into a and this is the upward direction mg minus f equal to ma. And when we remove the m dash mass from the balloon, then its mass will remain m minus m dash which is removed. Therefore, this is the total weight. Therefore, what is the net upward acceleration? A net upward acceleration will be m minus m dash into a which is equal to f minus m minus m dash into g. Student, when we solve this, we get m dash equal to 2 m a g plus a. This is again important problem student. So student, aaj ke video mein, humne discuss kiya ki hum law of motions ke problem kaise solve kar sakte hain. Iske regarding, mein aapko ek question booklet bhi dunga ki jiske base pe aap practice kar sakte hain ki kaise hume iske numericals aate hain. Aur joh mainne day 3 mein aapko diya tha, un problem ko hum kaise solve kar sakte hain. Student, aaj se जैसे भी मेरे को पॉसिबल टाइम होता है मैं डेली वीडियो अपलोड कर अपलोड करने की कोशिश करूंगा यदि फिर भी यदि कई भी चांस मिस हो जाए तो अगले दिन मैं आपको जरूर करूंगा दो दिन बाद एक हमारा लास्ट लेक्चर बचा है डे हमारा सिक्स का प्लान उसमें कुछ हमने फ्रिक्शन के प्रॉब्लम डिस्कस करनी है कल के लेक्चर में फ्रिक्शन की प्रॉब्लम के साथ मैं टेस्ट सीरीज में आपको दूंगा वो टेस्ट सीरीज हमारे पास क्या होगी कि वो हमारे पास जो प्लस वन के फर्स्ट फोर यूनिट्स हैं बिफोर बर्क पार्टनर जी यूनिट एंड मेजरमेंट डायमेंशन मोशन एंड द लॉ ऑफ मोशन इनके ऊपर हमें कैसे क्वेश्चन बनते हैं वो मैं एक आपको फोर्टी फाइव क्वेश्चन की पूरी टेस्ट सीरीज दूंगा कि जिसके बेस पे हम प्रॉब्लम सोल्व कर सकते हैं उस टेस्ट सीरीज में हमें वही इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन होंगे कि जो हमें टू थाउजेंड एटीन में एक्सपेक्टेड है या जो प्रीवियस ईयर में हमें कैसे क्वेश्चन आ, आ चुके हैं तो हम उस प्रैक्टिस पे हमें पता लग सकता है कि हमारी प्रिपरेशन कैसी है और उसके अकॉर्डिंग कैसी हमने तैयारी करनी है स्टूडेंट जैसे कि आप ज्यादा से ज्यादा मेरे चैनल से जुड़ रहे हैं फिर भी आप इसे ज्यादा से ज्यादा सब्सक्राइब करें ताकि और भी स्टूडेंट इसका बेनिफिट उठा सकें थैंक यू वेरी मच स्टूडेंट्स